Are you interested in learning how to start soldering, but you don't know what you will need to get started? I'm adding three videos to my soldering basics series about tools and supplies for basic soldering to help point you in the right direction. This video is about what's required for basic soldering, and my next two videos will be about what's recommended for basic soldering. I will also be putting some links in the descriptions of each video to help you find something similar to what I'm using in these videos. Let's start with the soldering iron. There are a lot of options out there from basic, non-adjustable soldering irons to soldering stations with variable temperature and replaceable tips. Obviously, a soldering station will give you more options, but it will also be more expensive. A basic one will work just fine for basic soldering needs. But keep in mind that if you don't have a holder for the soldering iron, you will need to make sure that it's not going to burn anything when you set it down. Be safe with it. While solder seems like it's just solder, there are actually different kinds. When working on electronics, you do not want to use plumbing solder. For electronic soldering, there is lead-based solder and lead-free solder. Lead-based solder is generally a bit easier to work with, but lead-free solder is a bit safer to use. You also have solid wire solder and rosin core solder. Whenever possible, it's best to use rosin core solder because solder will not bond without flux, and rosin core solder has flux within it. And finally, there are different thicknesses of solder. The general rule of thumb is to use thicker solder when soldering bigger wires and parts, then use thinner solder when soldering smaller wires and parts. If you're just getting started and you don't know what to try first, 0.8mm rosin core solder should be adequate. I recommend watching my video in this series about using solder, which demonstrates the optimal technique for soldering. Some people will say that you don't need to use flux in order to solder, and that they've been soldering for years without using any flux. If you're soldering with rosin core solder, which is the most common to find, you are using flux. You can usually solder just fine without any additional flux, because the solder already has flux within it. But if you happen to get solid wire solder, it won't bond without added flux. Also keep in mind that the soldering iron will burn the flux out of the solder over time. The technique that I show in my using solder video will minimize the amount of flux being burned away. I also recommend watching my video about using flux because it explains why flux is so important. While these three things are required for basic soldering, there are different options for each one, depending on your needs. If there is something that I missed from this list, please leave a comment and let me know. I may have included in one of my next two videos, which will be about recommended tools and supplies for basic soldering. And please let me know if you'd like me to make individual videos about each one of these items, where I go into more detail. Thank you for watching.